Hey everyone, I'm Parvesh China. I play Gupta on Outsourced, a show about a ragtag bunch of call center employees set in India. Gupta is a guy that you just want to avoid. And not because he's mean, it's just because you might have to go on with your day and you might want to go to the bathroom in private or your, eat your lunch without a lecture about how um, arachnids are the most important insect ever. And it's true, they are, because spiders are very vital and important to nature. If you kill a spider in your home, it's considered bad luck because they will kill other insects and pests. And who wants like fleas and ticks when you could have a spider? Stop. Am I talking too much? Gupta does that. It's I, That's just acting. It's not like Parvesh is like Gupta at all. I don't continue to talk on and on. And I also don't continue to talk on and on about stupid nonsense i have really important things to tell people did you know that they are making a brand new concrete for the highways which is going to last 20 years versus the current 10. so the joke won't be that we're always just going to be in winter and construction we will just actually have winter and construction every 20 years what i like about gupta is that there is no censor it is great to play a character where i can kind of get away with saying and doing anything He's a touchy-feely guy. He's a chatty Kathy. You know, he likes to talk generally about four inches away from someone's face or perhaps 40 centimeters. It is set in India, so, you know, America, we're, on, we're not on the metric system yet. I'm thinking that outsource is gonna be that linchpin that starts the conversion to the metric system. I just need to learn to differentiate between Parvesh and Gupta. And I don't know if there's that big of a difference. I don't think I'm playing a character. I think I'm just doing Parvesh. I need to see my therapist. Outsourced, it's a half-hour sitcom. It's a workplace comedy set in Mumbai, India. Mumbai is the former and now current name of the city Bombay. So it is like the one of the biggest cities in India, kind of like uh, India's LA meets New York City. So we're a call center for a novelty company. And then a lot, there are a lot of call centers that have been servicing companies worldwide. Uh, uh, Pippa Black's character, Tanya, is the head of a call center for uh, Koala Airlines in Australia. And Todd, played by Ben Rappaport, he is in charge of Mid-American Novelties. This fine establishment, you know, 10-year-old company based in fine business goods like fake vomit, dog poo, human poo, um, cake pans of certain body parts, Elvis Presley foot baths, pens, nickels, Thumbtacks, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Outsource is so different from anything else that we've seen on American television, let alone the fact that it is a whole group of ethnically diverse actors. It is also one of the few shows in recent history that I can think of that is set entirely in a foreign country, let alone Europe. I mean, we're in, we're in Asia, we're in the Southern Asian subcontinent of which India is a part of. I think one of the most important things that people really see about Outsource is that they'll see through Todd's character, like how home away from home can really be. I think that when we travel, for anyone who's studied abroad, worked abroad, you really see what kind of, and also through Charlie's, uh, the character of Charlie played by Diedrich Bader, you really get to see like what creature comforts you need to get by the day, like coffee is coffee everywhere, you know, or, um, you know, like the group of friends that you surround yourself with. Or in Charlie's case, you know, you get your ho-hos and Twinkies shipped on monthly, you know. That is what you'll really see, like, 
what is different or what is the same. When we're learning about different American culture, especially like modern day kind of culture through Ben's character, Todd, and uh, you know, Sasha's doing, uh, Men Meets character is doing Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, and Anisha's doing something, I don't know, I can't really understand half the things she says, so I don't know what she's doing. It looks like she's doing some sort of pantomime, maybe Commedia dell'arte from the 17th century. And um, Rebecca is doing her attempt at rap. <laughs> oh, God. But um, Gupta does Pussycat Dolls because he was a big fan of Nicole Scherzinger. Before we shot that scene, it took me about two and a half weeks of uh, working with um, Janet Jackson. <laughs> Janet is an old friend. You know, I just said, like, Janet, hey, it's Parv. I got to do this scene. Can you help me out with some moves? So we tossed uh, a little bit of Rhythm Nation 1814 in there at the beginning. But my scene starts right off when we actually took the actual Pussycat Dolls choreography. And then I end with a lot of stuff from, like, the Love Will Never Do music video. The scene shifted to black and white. And then, like, Jaima and Hansu and... <laughs> You missed his cameo, and also that Antonio Sabato Jr. were in it too. But for some reason, we decided not to use that part. Gupta is a man of many words. I don't know if like we can encapsulate it in just one catchphrase right now but I've been trying some out. Some of them include good one, bad one, okay. And then one that I'm gonna bring into a couple of later episodes is Gupta's gonna be watching a lot of um, rap and hip hop music videos, specifically from like the late 1990s. So he's gonna bring in a lot of gangsta and then do the shoulder move with it too. That's just what I've started, because like, G for Gupta, G for Gangsta. So then I was going to get one of those rings that said Gupta Gangsta. So when you read it, it says Gangsta Gupta. <laughs>